Hello, my name is Madalina Opperman and I work in the European Field Application Support Group with applications in the area of proteomics, metabolomics and lipidomics. I would like to tell you about results obtained in a collaborative project together with the French doping laboratories, the European Field Application Support Team and the Biopolymers Group. In this research project, we were working on the detection of doping products in horse in this particular case, human erythropoietin, which is a banned substance. The goal of our study was to improve the methodology for the detection and quantification of human erythropoietin in horse plasma. And employing higher resolution, accurate mass methodology, we have achieved a lower limit of detection and quantification, which represents a fourfold improvement over previous methodology employing triple quadruple based mass spectrometry. In this study, we have also improved the sample analysis. So human erythropoietin is a 30-34 kilodalton protein, which is used in, in horse, in, in doping in general. Two specific peptides, T6 and T17, are used to differentiate between human and equine uh, forms of the proteins. And these were the ones that we were synthesizing with incorporated C13 and N15 heavy labels in order to have a calibration line and in order to confirm the retention time for the natural products. Employing a single usage monolithic columns, we were purifying horse plasma, we were, we were digesting the samples and we were adding the spiked in peptides. Following this simplified procedure, we were employing either high resolution accurate mass spectrometry on the Q-Exactive system or triple quad technology. Triple quad technology is the one which is traditionally used because it offers high throughput and good sensitivity. However, in complex matrices such as plasma or urine, the quantitative performance is compromised because of matrix interference. In this particular case, we found that the high resolution mass spectrometry platform used, the QExactive, was offering superior performance due to its high resolution performance. The way we were employing the QExactive was to have a high resolution selected ion monitoring scan at 140,000 resolution, followed by targeted HCD scans for the respective peptides used as conf for confirmatory purposes. In this way, we were actually achieving a higher level of performance. So having at least three fragment ions used for the triple quad analysis, we can here show the data obtained on the QExacti versus the TSQ Vantage, where for quantitative performance in a simplified plasma, we achieved a very good level of detection at 250 picogram per milliliters, which is actually the levels used by the horse racing monitoring authorities. However, our true limit of detection was actually 25 uh, picograms per milliliters. Because we wanted to have a very good understanding of the linearity as well as the sensitivity, we were also spiking these, the equivalents of the T6 and the T17 peptides uh, in their heavy labeled isotope forms. And we were modifying slightly the method uh, employed for the Q-exactive analysis. So in this case, we were obtaining cycle times on 1.2 seconds, toggling between the selected ion monitoring scan and the four, in this case, targeted HCD methods. In this manner, actually, we have achieved a very good linearity from the spiked in levels of 10 atomoles all the way to the 100 femtomoles. In conclusion, we can say that the, employing the high resolution methodology, we have achieved a clear improvement in the limit of detection and limit of quantification, which is at least fourfold over, over previous technology. We have also employed a simplified methodology with increased robustness, and we have also 
achieved a window of opportunity because now we can work for the detection of those peptides within a longer time range beyond the otherwise typical 48 hour period. So with those words, I would like to thank you for your attention and to invite you to watch us and to download materials from our webpage, thermoscientific.com slash ASMS. Goodbye.